The Mooka Boys, Leif Tanza, and partners Matt and Cosa Cathigan are hunting a horde of opal dumped down a shaft by an old timer cutter. So back in the day, the old miners only really liked the red crystal or the black stones. Uh, everything else, the blue, the green, concrete, matrix, it wasn't of much value to them at all. So hopefully the shaft is absolutely jock block full of that. There's uh, quite a few stories around the town of places like that. And from the notes of what I've got left with Dad, this is one of the places, so we thought we'll do something different and a bit of a look here. Life's father, Paul Tanza, was a highly regarded Andamooka opal miner. He was tough on my brother and myself, but everything he did paid off for us. We both thank him for how he was. Two years ago, Paul was caught off guard during a disagreement and later died from his injuries. He copped two knife wounds and the second wound got his femoral artery and that's what made him, yeah, that's what made him pass. The way he said goodbye was dying in my arm on the way to hospital. Paul left behind detailed notes, charting his decades as a miner in a book they call the Bible, including clues to locating the cutter's shaft filled with opal. This cutter's shack is meant to be here off to the right. So this area is meant to be 40, 50 feet, northeast position, where the shaft's meant to be. Yeah, I just remember too, man, it's been a rubbish hole, so it checked for any sort of burnt walls and stuff, because I know the bloke used to burn his rubbish in there. So okay. he would have all scored edges and like that. All right, let's see if we can go find him. So I think this is our open shaft for reference, is it? Yep. That one. So this open shaft here, we know where this is underground, so that's going to be our starting point. And all we're doing now is getting a measurement from our starting point uh, to our, and get a compass bearing. So at least we know what direction we're in underground that way. 25 metres. So 347 degrees north. Yeah. Uh, we're just making sure, instead of winding through all the endless tunnels under there, we're actually heading in the right direction. The boys must now hope their rough distance and bearing calculation is accurate enough to lead them to the hidden shaft. Brooks's Hill is absolutely littered with shafts. Some of them are covered up in a way that you can't notice that that was a shaft. And just walking around, poking the ground, looking for the old shafts. Been that many rains and uh, washed the dirt over it and made little crusts over the top of it. So, yeah, you, you really can't see it. All the old shafts are just full of dirt. They don't actually have any oval. But this cutter's uh, trash shaft that we're looking for should be full of cut pieces of oval. Keep poking around. There's got to be something here. <laughs> I think the opal god smiled upon us today because the hole didn't go right through, so because it was lucky that he fell on a mud cap. If he's gone to the bottom, it's a broken legs. If not, worst case, he, he's finished. You're right, man. So the big question now is, is this shaft full of cut opal? Do you reckon this is the one we're looking for, or what? No, I think that this cutter shaft, man, should have burnt edges everywhere. We'll keep having a look, then. Going by the mud map that Dad left for us, the shaft is down here to the east of us. It's in, I think it was a 40 metre sort of radius. I think I got something here, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think there's black walls in there, eh? Oh, I think we finally found it, boys. Yeah, beauty. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely it. It's got the burnt edges, we've got the reed on it. So we can't really dig it out from the top. If we start digging from the top and it does collapse, then uh, we are going to go down the shaft with it. And yeah, there's a lot of unstable ground up here, so it's going to be a lot easier if we get underneath and try and knock the bottom out. OK, so here's that shaft that we know is open. We've got one, two, three, four, five directions, man. Which way are we supposed to go? Well, yeah, if we're going to keep heading north, we've got to keep heading that way. Yeah, I can go that way. Cool. So at the moment, our whole season rides on us finding a needle in a haystack. 
there's a chance that we won't find this at all. There's a lot of things to this that could go wrong. And here's a shaft here. What do you reckon? It's a hole, we'll give it a poke. Can't go wrong, man. Let's see what happens. So we've got Leif just knocking down a bit of the shaft at the moment that's hung up. If you were underneath one of these shafts when they come down, then you were definitely getting buried and you're not getting out of here. Yeah, be careful up there, though. So this uh, season's total is really relying on us finding something now. We should be finding cut-off pieces of opal, something that's already been run through a saw or a grinder. Ugh. Not one bit of rubbish in this at all, is there? It's definitely not a cutter's pile. That's just normal fill. All right, next one. It was a bit of a gamble taking the boys away from the dig out at Lunatic, but Dad had a pretty good sort of thing of deciphering sort of what was truth and not. Whoa, boys, a bunch of bottles here, man. All right here, burnt out trash here, man. Where's that go to? Hey, boys, this is all burnt out in here, eh? I think this is it, guys. We got burnt out sides here. We got some old bloody rubbish, man. Yeah, I'm glad, mate. We don't have to go crawling through any more tunnels. Hopefully, it all pays off. So if it all ends up coming down right now, I've got to grab Lowe's foot and pull him out with the dirt coming down. So, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't get, doesn't get up getting buried by it. We might be unluckier. I think all the dirt that we were after has been washed down into the bottom here. Pretty much what we want will be below us. Just move a bit more of the excess so we can get in there a bit. There we go, here's colour. Oh, we got colour? Yeah. Oh, you're beauty, man. Oh, we got. We got our first stone. Killer, killer. I think it's fair to say we found the cutter shaft we've been looking for. Yes. Just about every time Lay's dropping dirt down, I'm finding some nice pieces of opal in here, right? Nice cut pieces. Wow, check this out, Matty. Holy hell, look at that red. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, man, <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, that is Look at that, boys. <laughs> this is one big chunk of opal. Boys, we got a few grandy, I reckon, eh? Hey, easy. Oh, that's it. So it's got to be a 10 ounce piece, man. That, that's gem quality matrix. I reckon we get out of here, clean this gear up, see if we can't find the buyer, eh? I think we, we go have a beer for Dad for this. Absolutely. Thanks, Paul, mate. You've done it again, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs>